Hey guys, how are you? Roughly a month ago, we were talking about uh, Tilray Inc., the cannabis sector as a whole, and TLRY. Um, we did the following YouTube, 4th of March. Um, it is today, the just ticking, non-farm fr uh, Friday. I'll be going with premium community for non-farm, and there'll be a few guests as well. But anyway, uh, so it was a, a month and a day ago, literally, on Tilray, T-L-R-Y. And the call was a uh, up to 60% dunk and possibly a bit more. In other words, we were highlighting a break of a key level for us on what we refer to as a grind in a structure or pattern that we typically trade. Um, and you could have gone short from the run of the $77 level. And we are looking for the 36 stroke $35 level to be run. 35 36 dollar level to be run hence the call going for a 60 percent and a possibility also for a little bit of overperformance on that but it would take the bulk of the profits at um, that level so that was a month ago this is your quick quick hit uh, but here's how we've gone um, here's your Tilray progress. This is now a lower time frame. So in terms of that, which I was showing you, you can see we're on the two hour time frame, but I was showing you the exhaustive high that you'd had uh, a while earlier up top there. Um, now we're just focusing on this area here, or more like the whole area to the target in there um, and you can see how it's progressed so far. So um, now trading. 61 i can actually expand that slightly uh, and give you a little bit more of the other history but uh, still on the two hour time frame but a bit more zoomed in and you can see that there was after the break as is often typical a, a weak rally return type move rising wedge and you actually got a gap to literally touch our key level of significance that we had identified at the 75 uh, 38 40 level and then that was also part of an earnings outcome where they disappointed we expected that you kind of got the gap open and the immediate gap closure so that was a result remember you closed at that little point there on the green and you popped right up to there no volume that was volume free and then you traded straight down so it was a um, quite a clear exhaustive candle initially Oh, it's not as bad as we thought. Actually, that stinks. And back you come and you close the gap and you trade it down. And since then, there's actually been a disbursement. It's important to remember um, that this sell off now uh, coming down round about where we would expect it to have a little bit of a, a short pushback rally, potentially uh, what we call the second interim, which is in and around the key level of significance. That'll be 60 key round number. Uh, and we're at 61 that's not far off so dip through that get into the high 50s and then potentially a bit of pushback before eventually running down there of course another key round number will be the 40 level which again we'd expect it to spill through first before there's a final point of rally usually with our target being taken um, so it's progressing well there's plenty of time for it to self uh, actualize um, that would have been your break point that would have been your, your level of risk didn't quite catch that uh, perfectly um, so if I just close that let's select that RRR let's get it right um, push him up slightly uh, get that to the target level and I think the entry maybe needs to come a tad down it's roughly right if we go give or take uh, I'll round down why don't I you're looking at a 10 at point five uh, R, R, R if made um, and it is now currently at this level over here by the way remember nothing's been achieved if this thing suddenly it, the scope is still there um, maybe it runs that interim it could pump it runs that risk level you're out and you've lost the trade but that's okay it's part of the game but so far looking good it's also important to recognize that while that's been happening People that trade uh, the general markets in the SPY, for example, or let's just go X, um, S&P 500. If you have a look at what the S&P 500 has been doing typically on the same kind of time frame, this has been a very supportive snapback period for equities. So apart from that cranky volume, which is clearly quite duff, uh, I'm going to take that off. It's a bit distracting. You can see that during this period from the last month, so we've actually got it from the beginning of March 
in and around 4th of March. So if I go with the pen in around here, you had a dip down, but then we've gone higher, higher, and actually we're close to highs and you had a nice gap up right there. Warning for some of the wires, there's a bit of a wedge there and you could get a pop out the top and then a sell off coming, but that's something for the future. Here's where we had made the YouTube clip at that level price point. And here's where we are today. Uh, 2879 does 2780. So in that period, the market has gone up and Tilray, uh, as you can see, has not been faring near as well. So our call 4th of March was roughly there just prior to it breaking um, and now it is here. So if you're falling like that in a supportive overall S&P S, uh, 500 type market, um, then I would argue that if we were to get a little spill out of that rising wedge that we just saw on the SPX, that you might get even further progress on your till race. So in other words, pop out the top, maybe a little bit of a bleed out. It doesn't need to be a crash or anything dramatic. Um, if people just lose their appetite for buying the snapback rally in stocks, um, it could come um, as a non-supportive event for something that's already losing ground. So cannabis industry, maybe a hold is coming under it, but certainly we identified Tilray uh, as a weak um, as a weak stock in that area. Okay, that's your YouTube. Hope that's interesting. Looking forward to doing non-farm um, for the community and a few guests uh, today as uh, part of our 50 Gris. If you're interested in that, which we do, um, pop over to our website. Uh, you can have a chat uh, with an HVF trader, trained alumni, and now part of our staff, someone who was sitting where you were sitting two years ago, um, book appointment. We do ask that you just uh, answer one or two quick questions so that we know you're serious. Otherwise, if you're just tire kicking, which is totally cool, go watch the mini series, give an email, get your vids, etc., etc. That's it from me. See you later. Enjoy your non-farm Friday. Bye for now.